and boom, there we go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Sminify Podcast. Today we're on episode number 16. Today I'm joined with Minecraft building legend, Discord server admin. Well, like, what else is on your resume? I'm joined by Dova Snipe 7 everybody. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I'm honored to be here. Yeah, definitely. You're definitely a very well-known person on the channel. You've been here forever, and this has been scheduled for a long time. Just yeah, and it's currently 11 p.m. for me. And I mean, we're getting Nine. it done at least. We're getting it done. Yeah, but anyway, how are you going to edit this? But yeah, I don't actually. When I do podcasts, I don't edit them at all. I usually go back and listen oh. to them all in the same night. It's actually kind of interesting. I don't know why, but I really like the podcast. Listening back to them one time. But anyways. If anyone, if anyone listening to this has been paying attention, there's basically, and the U.S. election is going to happen. This is going to come out on Monday, so it's only happening tomorrow at the time you're listening to this. So I thought I'd come on. One of the most politically active people I'd say in our Discord server, you guys, we, we literally had a long political discuss, discussion just the other night. And you actually have plans of running for president. Is that, wait, are you actually like serious when you say that? Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I thought this would be dream. so I thought this would be very fitting to have you on and ask you some basic uh, questions about this election, basically everything political. So yeah, if you don't like politics, this is probably not going to be the podcast for you because a lot of people don't like politics nowadays. I don't really know why. I think it's good to talk about politics in the right setting. This is definitely the right setting. So I think this is also going to be a fun one to look back on for sure. We're just going to hop right into the questions. Are you ready for question number one? I have this list written down. Yes. All right. Yes, sir. The first question I have is. Who do you think will win the 2020 presidential election and why? Two minutes, your response, please. Okay. All right, you're ready. Okay. Uh, okay. Chris Wallace. So, um, <laughs> exactly. I have to say, Rump is going to win. And the reason I think so is because obviously he won in 2016. But since then, the Trump crowd has only increased and. Here, he doesn't really have much competition with Biden. He just, you know, the guy can't talk yeah, or function at all. And because of that, like, I feel like a lot of people are just going to have to go with Trump even if they don't like him. But it's hard to say, like, because literally anyone who's voting for Biden just hates Trump. And I really don't think that it could be more than half the country who just hates a guy so much he can't, they can't vote for him. And then with all the riots happening, yeah, it's that like literally right now in Pennsylvania, like literally yeah. right now, well, <laughs> there are riots everywhere. happening. There's so many mm -hmm. with how we handle them because he's been very patient with them. Like that's something I don't really like. Whereas, I wish he would have done more, but I feel like he, whereas Biden is slow to condemn the riots, which would be rather off-putting to yeah. many people. Definitely, yeah, he hasn't. The, I think he said once on Twitter, he made a tweet saying that like protests should be peaceful or something like that. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's fair. But, but... that's literally like the one time he said. Basically, yeah, anything he, he about riots. he'll get he'll condemn them for like two seconds, and then he'll go on to say that maybe it's justified that they can keep rioting over racial tensions yeah. and stuff. But I think this goes back to a thing that you said in the group chat. Like you said, no one's voting for Biden, but. Everyone's just voting against Trump. And I thought about yeah, that, that, and I was like, that's absolutely true. That is absolutely true, because it is really when people look at this election, I feel like they're voting based off Trump's character a lot instead oh, yeah, of for sure. based off the things that he's done for the country. And like, okay, recently, <laughs> definitely not the right place for politics, but I was just going through Among Us lobbies, putting my name as Trump 2020 to troll people and start <laughs> political discussions. And I would just join a lobby and put Trump 2020. I know this is a toxic thing to do. This is frowned upon in the community. And the first thing people would do yeah. is say you. Like just EW, they just say you. And that's obviously just because all they've heard is Trump bad, Trump bad all the time. And that's really, I feel like that's literally about the only reason why people would ever vote for Joe Biden. Honestly, it's just they don't like Trump. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I would probably go you too. <laughs> he's just being he, toxic, but. He's definitely not the nicest person. But honestly, when oh, it comes yeah, to the sure, leader of a country, I'd rather have kind of a more big ego, you know, someone who's not going to give in to the other side. He's putting us first, at least. He's definitely a tough guy, yes. Whereas I look that at Joe is, Biden, yeah. I'm like, I don't know, man. He does put America he first. Would, I mean, he's he's done like three rallies today, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Yeah, I know. He's it's done actually, a lot of rallies. He's actually grinding. 
right now he's doing one in florida yeah dude he's, that ended. his schedule's insane which do you what do you think about those rallies many people would think with the coronavirus going on that obviously those should be frowned upon See, do you think that's a big deal the or? thing the thing with the rallies is people are going there optionally and i'm hoping yeah. they're being responsible and at least quarantine quarantining for at least a week like just self isolating yeah, just in case they did catch any virus that they don't spread it but the mm -hmm. people saying that like they don't care that there's literally been massive protests yeah, protests it's... slash route uh riots for the last what four months now? it's ongoing for like it's the last absurd. like five months yeah and like okay like the hypocrisy is absolutely real i mean every at the end of the day i think everyone's a hypocrite but i recently saw an article that's like a study linked trump rallies to like eighty thousand positive covid tests or something and then i'm like okay i bet they wouldn't run that same test on the riots and the protests that happened because i'm sure that's led to a lot more covid uh cases than a few trump rallies and obviously they're trying to wade it towards sure. one side the hypocrisy is real but that's kind of everybody at the end of the day that has their own bias that's a yeah, twitter article, not only though. that there so. was an article i think it was the new york times if i remember right they were saying the blm peaceful protests were actually bringing down covid numbers somehow. how could you even make that argument like that's i don't know like do you even know what the argument was i don't maybe because they're dying they can't get infected again i don't know <laughs> it, it makes no sense that is such a weak it argument but is. but yeah it's so weird like what a co coincidence back when the pro mass protest started the covid numbers jumped kind of crazy yeah, i know oh, and they would this could happen they would blame because i think our numbers jumped at like the end of june or something like when well, you know yeah, we started we started exactly what yeah they started protesting at the end of may but then they blamed it on us reopening because a lot of states reopened in like the beginning of May. So they blamed it on that instead of the, I'm the sure protests, that had an effect, ridiculous. like a small effect. Yeah, definitely. But... but I feel like millions of people going out and protesting. And the thing is literally, I, I feel like the protests were being cheered on by the media at the time. Definitely. And like influencers and all of them were posting themselves out walking around shoulder to shoulder as Kamala Harris said in the debate. But now all we, all we hear from the media is Trump bad, Trump bad that he's holding rallies outside and stuff. And it again, yeah. it's hypocrisy, man. But at at the end of the day, everyone's a hypocrite, I think. But yeah, I, yeah, I would definitely agree I, with I, that. I got another question for you. Do you trust the polls because the polls show Biden's up and like everything? Um, no, I do not because they were wrong like a lot, especially in twenty sixteen. Yeah. And part of the reason they're wrong is I feel like they're jumping the numbers a little bit just on purpose, just to make the left happy. You think so? Because like they would, I mean, they rage over a black guy getting like killed by a cop, whether it's police brutality or not. So, yeah. yeah. See, I think the thing people say is that in 2016, the polls had him up by like a couple points, but now they got him down by like double digits. So I'm part of the reason. So I'm is, like, that's got me doubting things. But you, you continue on, continue on. You're gonna have a few people who couldn't vote back in 2016 due to age reasons just a few who can now vote now yeah like me and then there's that but that's only a small number of people well, mm -hmm. then there's the main thing which is the people who choose to stay silent or just ignore the polls yeah. the people asking them the silent majority you know yeah i feel like i heard this number like, like 60 something percent of trump supporters are afraid to say they are because the backlash they may face from people i mean yeah and i mean, don't blame it like tolerant I'm left kind of afraid to say like I, when i was at school back okay yeah because you're from lockdowns a, you're from a more like liberal setting definitely yeah like so the couple hundred people in my school like there's literally like less than probably, probably 50 at the most 50 at the most trump supporters so really so do you, okay, have you ever had to like stand up and just like give like an opinion essay or something in like English class, you know, like uh, conveying yeah, your actually, conservative views? Were you like crazy. really nervous to do that? Are you one of those people who's nervous to come out as conservative? I would kind say, of, yeah, in fears of backlash. Uh, we had to do a CBA. It was like a social studies English mixed project. We worked on it in both classes, and mm. you would basically write something like about the Constitution, like based on the constitution like a law that you think should be in place or change like yeah. some people were talking about um the second 
amendment in the Constitution doesn't protect guns or something. Some people are talking about that. Some are talking about animal rights and stuff. I chose to talk about Roe v. Wade. Oh, yeah. I bet that's going to yeah. get some nice backlash from Yeah. I felt so uncomfortable, though, talking to my teacher because he has to approve it first before we can do it. And he's definitely so, yeah. more liberal leaning. I don't, agree actually, with you. I don't even know. Or, I, I think he likes Obama, but he, well, yeah. he in the class, he never talked about it. Politics. Mm hmm. So, like the only time he ever talked did, was like if it was history related. Did you have to present that project to the class? Uh, thankfully, no. <laughs> the you teachers think, would grade it. Why do you think that it? Why do you think people get so upset that you're a Trump supporter? Why do people immediately assume racist and stuff like that? Why do they it's, just? They just don't understand the guy. They've like, just. They've just been. Fed I don't want to call them stupid for disagreeing, but like they're honestly like too stupid to yeah. understand. Like, I've never been a big fan of the name calling. Decent amount of the cases. I feel like they yeah. just hear the news stories and they just eat it right up and they don't do their research like recently in the discord server we've had people bring up the thing that saying trump hasn't condoned uh, white supremacy and stuff or condemned it which is and which is true which is obviously just not true and then we showed them a clip of him saying it like 10 times and then they're like oh well he you know he could change maybe he hasn't said it in the last 10 seconds so therefore it doesn't matter what else, what was the, what was another talking point i don't know <sighs> um it was about there was something about like the it's just it's so just... called police brutality cases against Breonna Taylor and George oh, yeah. Floyd. Do you want to talk about BLM? Should we talk about that? Yes. What are your thoughts on BLM, Black Lives Matter, so the movement as a general? <clears throat> obviously, before we were saying that they're spreading COVID by having millions of people at a time in close streets. Yes. <laughs> and it's just getting this hard because like, screaming. Sure, there are some, like at first, there are some peacefulness, and now there's a little bit, but it is in a ton of riots. Yeah. Like, you I... can't deny it. There's riots everywhere. And the people who justify this, it just blows my mind. Like, it doesn't matter that's the material object. They're still literally ruining someone's life. Yeah, I know. It's completely ridiculous. And again, it's like you're going to shut down churches and not let people practice their religion or anything but you're going to allow millions of people to go out and riot in this protest protest in the streets and recently i saw an I article that, like... okay there was a recent news article where like trump supporters were blocking a bridge or something on a road which i think is stupid they shouldn't be doing that but then they also no yeah and then they also people were like okay what about all the protesters and stuff that are blocking streets and then the person's argument was that they were fighting for justice or whatever so they think yeah and they, okay, do you think that there's systemic racism in America? Because that's, um, that's their basic... Not on purpose, I would say. Because all of the stuff that was implemented on purpose it has definitely been eradicated. Um, yeah, definitely. Well, except for Planned Parenthood. That's like the one exception, I would say. Because that was founded by a white supremacist. I guess I don't know anything and, about but, that. But... <laughs> Dang. Yeah, she founded it because she wanted to eliminate or lower the quote-unquote Negro population. Really? Jesus. Yeah. And they support or that? Same. I would have to do more research on that, but that's awful. Yeah. It is. Okay. But, uh, Dang. yeah. How about how about the police force? Is there systemic racism in the police force? Dude, I'm so, that's I... just the dumbest thing. Like, there's so many minority groups that are in the police force because it's like... In most police forces, it's usually like at least twenty percent are minority groups. Yeah, and I, literally, like the Seattle one, hey, they barely even have a police force because they're barely oh. bringing any new cops in, and so many are quitting. But because... it's literally like fifty percent black. I'm not even joking. It's like fifty percent black. Is it the head of Chile's uh, police is black? And she had to resign, didn't like, she, for Seattle's? something uh she resigned because she was so sick of the defunding that's it awful was, it was just absurd they already did, were underfunded in the first place and undermanned mm -hmm. it's part of the reason there's a huge heroin epidemic going on in seattle dang i feel like i just couldn't ever live in the big cities because of that <laughs> how about okay yeah. Chaz and chop did you uh <laughs> didn't you say your brother went to that you want to describe what that is yeah yeah he can you he just tell everybody what the background of that is because so, 
He went over there. He was saying like, I, I remember, this was months ago, so I don't really remember everything right. But he was saying there was like some drugs. He there was just so many. It was like uh, so much garbage. Drugs like. I think yeah. he said he saw he- human feces on the ground. And that was like, back in the beginning. Like, That's right so disgusting. Because I think he like sometimes works in Seattle through the construction. Mm-hmm. But, is that like a normal yeah. sight in Seattle, just seeing feces on the ground? Uh, is that like I a big city thing? Remember. I just wouldn't know. I've never had that. I can't say if I've ever seen that, but I definitely have seen like tons of homeless. Yeah. Like, literal tents like right next to sidewalks. Like it's absurd. Mm-hmm. That's also something I've never experienced. I really just live in the small town echo chamber. Everyone literally thinks the exact same where I live, so I haven't been exposed to that type of stuff that you have. Yeah. You don't want to. I mean, I've seen rats there. <laughs> Honestly, a few times I've yeah, been there, I'm, I've seen rats. It's just disgusting. I'm definitely okay living in the small city. But all right. What do you yeah. think about uh, universal mail-in voting? Do you think we should have concerns with that? It's, it's <clears throat> an absurd idea. All right. So it's already been said by, I want to say, it was Chuck Schumer, the FBI, I think, who said it. But um, it's the most prone to voter fraud that is mail-in fa- uh, ballots and it was made first like absentee ballots were first for like the military and people US citizens overseas yeah and it, it shouldn't be utilized in this way it's just not effective and look you you can literally see just if you google it right now you will see tons of yeah I've heard a lot of stories uh, of people just like set, setting stuff on fire throwing stuff away and I mean, I definitely yeah, have like concern for it. During the first presidential debate, like they're finding creeks, dumpsters, and there was just an article that I wrote down. Um, it was describing they did an interview with a former voter fraudster. I guess that's what you would call it. He he admitted yeah, voter fraud. Isn't that a crime? All right. Um. <laughs> yeah, it was in New Jersey. Yeah, it was a county for the count, small county elections because they were like saying quote unquote that like the smaller it is the easier it is to rig right mm, and yeah, he he's mentored uh, mentored at least 20 other voter operatives <laughs> fraudsters wow um, um he admitted all that <laughs> all right or did they just figure that yeah, out yeah they've done it he Dang. said <laughs> he's done it both for democrats and republicans who ever wanted it to happen yeah, uh, I don't know if one party did it more than the other. I guess it was probably the Democrats. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah probably. Like, Overall, he, I just think it's a, such a sketchy operation. Like hundred million yeah. voter. Like how many people voted already? It's like, is it already like a hundred oh, million? No, it I took think it's... forever for the ballots to come. Like, oh yeah, did your dad? It, like a week ago, he got his ballot like a week ago. But, yeah, because yeah. you told me just not that long ago he didn't have it. I like, is, do you think there's going to be yeah. people out there who don't get their ballots? Is that is that a thing that's going to happen? I guess I don't know. Uh, Probably if I do some so if they can't get your mail on time, how are they gonna get yeah. into ballots? Yeah, it's such a sketchy, sketchy operation. And how many days do you, are we gonna know on election night who's the winner? Are we gonna have to? Is it gonna take us weeks, days? It, it's supposed to take weeks. Like oh I think what's God. gonna happen is That's they're gonna awful. say who won. <laughs> I feel like if Biden wins, they're gonna just say, <laughs> "Oh look, Biden won." And then if Trump wins, <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, all the bi- wait, uh, wait for ballots it. haven't been counted yet." Yeah, gotta wait. And then like definitely a week later, like every state's just gonna suddenly turn blue <laughs> or something like that. Did you see uh like I don't know what city it was? They're like boarding up windows already, getting preparation for the results of the election because they know if Trump wins, that America's gonna burn. Like people I feel are like just that's gonna, gonna happen crazy. either way. I know. You think so? I mean, if Trump wins, because I think the reason he's been so uh, patient on the riots, yeah, because he has done stuff like he sent the National Guard and extra stuff. Yeah, he I think they were literally sending tanks to some places, like small <laughs> assault tanks, like <laughs> I mean, not very large, not like ones you'd well, see yeah. in the Middle East, but like tiny ones. Kind of like, just to intimidate warfare. people, probably. <laughs> I would yeah, not take basically. on a tank. I would not want to be one to tank. But, uh, yeah, he sent, it, he sent the National Guard to cities who would take it. Like, a lot of mayors refused it. Like, the yeah, Portland it's, mayor it's ridiculous. They're it, so stupid. Basically, he just Tifa provides the resources, and then it's up to them. Yeah, and, yeah, and Tifa literally tried burning down his apartment <laughs> building. <laughs> but it oh built a protest of him. I don't know. It, it, yeah, I don't know. The guy is delusional. It's ridiculous. Our, it's really, sh- like, told me how stupid our 
government officials are. It's it's kind of disappointing. It's honestly it's at the end of the day, like people are burning down your city. You could either keep pushing your narrative, or you could just call in some backup and get it handled within a couple of days. And to see that they'd rather yeah, pick the narrative and stuff, it's it's messed up. Yeah, but, but I anyways. feel like part of the reason he's been so patient is to like show this is what would happen because yeah. Biden clearly isn't going to do anything about it. Yeah, if he that's was, scary. He would say something about that's so it. Scary and. It's not like he's trying to win over Antifa. Either way, he's getting all the Antifa people to vote for him because there's no way they would ever vote <laughs> yeah, for Trump. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even not vote. They would just vote Biden because they're always going to go left no matter what. Yeah, like these people, like people will say, "This is Trump's America." Watch it; it's burning, COVID cases surging. But like, Dude, like these are not Trump Trump's supporters. America. These are not Trump supporters burning these cities down and looting. And like, gosh, I hate the Trump's America term so much because it, it doesn't really matter who the president is, it's America it's, either way. Yeah, and like, definitely. who cares? Okay, there's not even an actual like, argument. Okay, the unemployment that's because governor, governors, because he's oh. not being a dictator and forcing people to be shut down. Like, those are all the governors yeah, who are shutting down the states. And then there's the California fires, which that's all California. That's just like wildfire management, like, isn't it? I mean, like, that was, yeah. I don't know if global warming is like helped. Mama. Like, they're just going to name that all in global warming. I don't know if that's helped it at all, but it's definitely more. Yeah, they're, of, they're acting. The people say they're acting like it's clearly global warming. That's even, causing this, but it's not. Because even like the governor, a, what's his name? Gavin Newsom. He, he even said it's bad mm -hmm. wildfire manager, forest management or whatever. That's why he said the cause is basically. I'm surprised he would say that. I am too. But yes, dude, they let it slip the, out every now and then. insane. There's no way he's not saying I refuse to believe it. Yeah, I don't know. They're crazy. Okay. The one thing I hate is when the case of people say the Trump's America thing, look, we have the highest unemployment. Nobody's employed. And we have the most COVID deaths. Like, those things don't go hand in hand. Like, obviously, if you're going to lock everyone down, they're not going to be employed, but your COVID deaths will go down. But if you want people to be employed, then your COVID deaths are going to go up. So either way, it's a double. They got him. I don't know why they pull that statistic out all the time. But it really is annoying. All right, hold yeah. up. Hold up. I got the next predictions. I think we should do some predictions for states. All right. I'm just going to read off okay. some states. You tell me who's winning. All right. This, we'll start off with a simple one. We got Texas. Who's winning? Uh, Trump, for sure. Pretty easily. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think they got him up like three, it, which got the Democrats all excited. Little, but I, don't I, know. Think it's gonna be, I think it's going to be really close, but I hope he'll win. So yeah, okay. So Trump gets Texas. I I can agree with that. All right, Florida. I mean, then again, Florida uh, for sure. He did a rally there today. You think so? You think that was there? I'm sure a lot of people showed up. His I mean, rallies do get a lot of people. There is definitely a lot of motivation for him. Oh yeah, they're really chanting "We love you" again. Yeah, like, there is at like every rally. Like I, I literally mean, think it's Texas at an all time won. high. So Texas one, I think, is really close since like so many people from left states and moved there in the last four oh, years. Oh, so you think it'll be... Yeah, because people are f kind of just fleeing California, like Elon Musk like, yeah, and but, Ben Shapiro and Joe Rogan and soon to follow many other people because that state's going crazy. But All right, so we got Texas, Trump, Florida, Trump. I have Ohio. Who are you thinking? Ohio. Um, do you I know who they... Probably... I don't really know much about yeah, Ohio. that's what you I was know... thinking. Did, it was that. Ohio red in 2016. Yeah, it was. I believe. I think he won it pretty easily. Maybe. I feel like it's gonna be really close with Ohio. I don't know. Probably. All right. Yeah. So we don't know about that. I really don't know much about this. Is a big it. one. All right. This next one's a big one. We got Pennsylvania. This uh, could like yes. make or break, especially with like especially the riots that are going on right now. Like. <laughs> yeah, Philadelphia is just gone. <laughs> exactly. It, like... It's. <laughs> It's like, okay, guys, another black guy got killed by police. Like, let's go. We have an excuse to go looting now. I yeah. wanted a new flat screen in my room. <laughs> exactly. And, like, like, do you think that'll actually, actually... I'm sure a lot of people have already voted. Do you think some people, like, regret, say they voted for Biden, they probably regret voting now that they see that their sitting's yeah. being burned by... They probably want I don't vote think back. it's a lot of people, because yeah. the people who... Because there's people who voted for him right away because they just hate Trump so much, but... Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like there, there are people, especially with the uh, laptop stuff coming out. Yeah, barely being covered. People but... aren't switching to that. Yeah, literally <laughs> censored on. Twitter yeah, it is censored Facebook. on Twitter, isn't it? 
Yeah. Like, you can't even link the article. That's actually ridiculous. You'll get blocked out of your account, I think. That's scary. Like, didn't the account that posted that get banned? The New York Post or whatever? I, uh, they got... Or something. They, they basically had their account shut down for, like, a certain amount of time. Wow. I think the That's people who incredible. shared it now have gotten it back. Yeah, I don't know if you watched it, but Ted Cruz did an interview with like the Twitter oh, uh, CEO guy who was in charge yeah. of that stuff. What's his name? Dude, Jack he, Dorsey. He made the dumbest excuse. He basically said that we we don't know if the information for for that article was from a hacker or not, so we don't want that sharing around. It's just absurd. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, they literally had a credible source. They literally they had a credible source in the article, and that's not even an excuse. Like, they literally have. Like w- people uh, on Twitter, like admitting that to be pedophiles, but no, that's that's fine. But oh, you're sharing an article about a candidate's son. We like not okay. And then, yeah, and I think he said that they like made it so you can post the story, but then like Ted Cruz went to try and post it or whatever, and it still didn't work. So he ended up lying yeah. under oath. But uh, I guess we'll just sweep that under the rug. That doesn't matter. He's a Democrat. But anyways, of course. <laughs> I don't know if you know much about these states, but we got Wisconsin. Who do you think is taking Wisconsin? I'm going to have to go with Trump, yeah. All right, so you got Trump winning like all these. Right? Oh, okay, well, Minnesota. I don't know about that. Um, I wouldn't. No, no. If I had to guess, it would probably be I, 30, 70, 40, 60. But for Biden, Because I, I feel like the Minneapolis riots, because I, I feel like those are still going on. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. That's pretty close to home. And I, don't, I don't know if they're going on. I don't think they are. The governor, because she was violating something like an order Trump gave, and I feel like that might have an effect. I don't think so, though, because the people from Minnesota. I think the majority yeah, of... He, he's... You think he's probably losing Minnesota. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way, especially I... with the mail-in balloting. I mean, they've literally been in a lockdown for so long even worse than washington like i've been to minnesota we have a house on a lake there and i think like a lot of the like smaller areas obviously are trump supporters as in like all areas but then the big cities are just crazy blue which do you know why like why is like every single big city blue i I, I, don't understand how like like, i feel like the explanation for that is because so many leftist people move there eventually like i don't know like maybe they get used to the good lifestyle because they make high wages and stuff, so now they're willing to vote the stuff away, like increase yeah, taxes. Yeah, because like no matter what, they'll be fine. Yeah. So I, that I, I that's be, a question then, I would like an answer to. I guess I don't know. Once they get stuck in that loop, like mm-hmm. yeah, once they vote blue, they just get stuck in that loop where they can't really get out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like once, like the rich people are the people that can leave California when it's gonna, when it's taxing and housing costs and homeless people and stuff all the rich people can easily move but all the poor people and stuff are going to be left there and it's going to become a mess yeah so i guess the rich people don't really care but all right so minnesota's going blue all right kind of another big one we got michigan do we know anything about michigan what are we thinking uh i guess we just take a guess um, i don't know like i guess 50 50 yeah, either or. We can't say. I don't really know. Hopefully what will happen is all the Trump supporters will come from home from work, assuming they still That's... have work in your vote. <laughs> That's basically what happened last year. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I've seen I that joke. Like, every... this... like, I've heard I'm... that joke a million times, but the first time I heard that, I was dying of laughter because, honestly, it's, but it, it's, it's kind of... It, yeah, it is, it is definitely true. Like, I was pretty sad back like, four years ago. I was like, oh, dang, there's no way he's winning this. But then, and then... they all came home from work and voted. That was actually really. Like, yeah, for me, that, lose. yeah, for me that was really fun last year at the last election. We actually had a volleyball game that night for election night, and we were like marking off the states as they call them, and it was it was a lot of fun. And there were like kids on the other side waving like a Mexican flag and stuff, and it was just so weird. But it was <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah, that was like that was I was actually yeah that was fun. Oh, yeah. We'll never forget <laughs> the young folks reacting to it. Oh yeah, I recently watched that video as well. It's ridiculous, and it, it's it's funny. It never gets... I really want it to happen again this year, honestly, just for those reactions. I think the reactions would be way yeah. better this year. Obviously, I'm not looking forward to the entire USA burning again and being rioted and looted again, but I think there'll be some yeah. funny reactions I mean, if now, he wins. I think he's going to take care of the riots so like, immediately. You think? I, yeah, I, I mean, hopefully. Jesus. What's going to happen? Then he's going to get called a fascist. 
So yeah, but he already does. Yeah, <laughs> he, actually, yeah he was True. worried about the election before, which is the reason I think. Because even if ten percent people in each state like switch to Biden because they don't like how he handled the, um, if he were to enforce more law and order, then that would make him lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. I guess the last state I got on here is Georgia. I don't really know. Uh, that's gonna win. Think Trump's like, winning. I don't know why it wouldn't. Like maybe because of the hurricanes. They're like, oh, yeah. like, they would be concerned about global warming or something. Maybe I, know, I just went off of like the closest swing states or something. Pull. Uh, all right. Next question. Uh, let's see. How do you feel about like Trump's rhetoric? Like him just being, uh, like not really telling people to wear masks. Uh, no. Clearly, not practicing what he preaches. Yes. Basically, like, do you think that hurts him? What do you think his biggest weakness yeah. is, basically, I guess? Just, just when it comes to Trump. How he talks, like, what he says on Twitter. Like, yeah. He really should just stop saying, make America great again on Twitter and stuff. Like, saying random statements like that that don't really make sense. He should just be saying stuff about Biden and. I mean, yeah, he kind of does. But... I think that's what he should be doing. Like, because he says he has Twitter because he can't get his voice out of the media, which is true, but kind of still not really utilizing honestly. it right. Yeah, like okay, the thing I got is like the name calling stuff he does. I think that appeals to his base, his supporters, obviously, kind of like that because they like watching kind of funny. big names. I think yes, like I find it hilarious when he calls like Sleepy Joe and stuff and whatever he has for Nancy Pelosi. Like I just find that hilarious because Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious because. That's one of the reasons why he got elected is because people were sick of those people. And to see someone call them names, I mean, it's not very productive, but it's honestly hilarious. But I think to like the yeah. just normal, like independent, that's not, that's pretty off putting when your candidate is name calling and stuff. Yeah. It's definitely not very effective. He... Yeah, the only thing that's really hurting him right now, I would say, are the fake news or misleading news, I guess you'd say, and COVID, because that's it, really the only thing is screwed up COVID. Yeah, how do you think... All right, I'll just ask a question my uh, POD teacher asked. Um, do you think coronavirus is a big deciding factor in this election for people? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I said definitely. Because like, literally everyone who's say, going against him, like Project Lincoln and stuff, they're always saying, like, he's killed, like, 200,000 people. I also hate when Wait, they say that. Just, I hate when, I yeah, hate when people say that so much. Say. Like... Like you can't blame literally every death on it. Yeah, like, no. If he can't control something, like what is he supposed to do? Plus, like sixty <laughs> k uh, people were killed by sending it, um, COVID patients to. Yeah, like homes. Democratic what governors or whatever allowed and mayors COVID positive Honestly, patients. I feel to, like it was ridiculous. I feel like that was a coordinated effort. Like uh, they just hate Trump so much. Okay, wait, what would they gain from that? Yeah. Shipping COVID positive elderly people back into nursing homes? Yeah, like is, it just is, doesn't make any okay, sense. Wait, so you're thinking they did that? To, I don't know if I would say that, but I don't know why I mean, they would this, do that. That literally makes weird. no sense. That they did it like all at the same time, basically. And there, that was like back when the lockdowns were like, maybe should we have it? Should we not? Mm -hmm. Like the deaths really aren't high enough for like, that's what the moderate was saying. And the deaths just aren't high enough. Like once you get to this point, like okay, maybe they're necessary, and then boom, mm -hmm. it's deaths are now at that point because you literally just had sixty k like elderly people die. Yeah, that's ridiculous. How have you uh, felt about the COVID lockdowns? Are they too much? Is it overdone um, at this point? Yeah, or? It's, it's so overdone. Like you told me that you haven't, you've left your, you've left your house twenty times, which might be an exaggeration, but less than twenty times this year. I'm, I'm not there. exaggerating. I, that's got to be an exaggeration. There's no way. I can't, I can't believe that. Dude, I've, I mean, I don't really go out much anyway, but other than for school, but of course I'm not doing that. Yeah. But yeah, like the only times I've literally gone out was like the two times for school supplies, and then <laughs> um, for the store. I think. Is oh, and then there was when I got my. When I went to the uh, licensed people for my oh for the permit. for the permit and I couldn't get it. Well, did you have to take like a like, written test for that, or how did you have to do that? I'd... I had to do a written test like a bit after, like I've already done. It wasn't for my permit. I had to do that after I got my permit. But 
yeah the lockdown like the covid restrictions by the governor like, like made it so i couldn't get this up because you have to they made it so you have to get an appointment yeah go there mm -hmm. they literally had like two people waiting outside to like not let people in it's so dumb it's like hmm, what about their safety they're standing yeah, like, right next to each other yeah, yeah it's ridiculous i mean i think right away i was i was okay with the lockdowns i was kind of worried about the virus right away but honestly now that we're a few months in we've seen what the virus can do we still i feel like we still not don't know much months. about it yeah we're a lot of months we in spent we? like we're like a year literally in. Not even, spent but... like the entire year almost like yeah after february beyond february it's yeah. been all lockdowns like i feel like it's went really slow but at the end of the day it feels like it's went quick as well i don't know it's a weird feeling but yeah i was yeah. all right what are your thoughts on uh covid is it overhyped or is it uh yeah for sure i feel like both sides of it blame like the left is just going way too over the top because i've literally seen like, people saying this on twitter that <laughs> twitter, this is the yes. deadliest virus on, that's ever been on the face of the earth like and yeah. they call it the trump virus because somehow it's his fault <laughs> yeah, i don't know how like, he virus. closes the borders like sure he didn't mandate lots of lockdowns shutdowns of the a country but kind of like, a good thing you know it's not being a dictator yeah, I, yeah definitely like he had the opportunity to the most heavy power grab ever to lock everyone down and he didn't take it. So that's, that's pretty awesome. But, uh, I guess at the end of the day, I'm kind of just mean, like, I think, like, I think people should wear masks. I think masks are effective. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't think people should be forced because like, I'm pretty libertarian. Like I do agree that there has to be some regulations. Like you can't have children mining in coal mines, but, yeah, I would. I think I'd be in I, favor of that. I, I, I definitely have some regulations, but yeah, I, I just I, don't think you should be able to force masks on. Yeah, people. but at the end of the day, I'm a big and fan what's of. What's weird is, I'm a big fan of freedom. That's really bothering yeah. me is that some of these people they're literally like being forced to have trackers on them and <laughs> what, so they can watch them. Yeah, yeah. Where's this happening like, at? This... People are. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard a few stories about it. Uh, like this one doctor, I recently watched a video. It was this, um, I, think, I don't know what his job, I think he was like a doctor or something. But he was at this um, meeting place with someone who was confirmed for COVID. And he like knew who the person was and he said that he had not even been near him. He was like at least 15 feet away from him at all times. Mm -hmm. But because he was at an event with someone who was confirmed for COVID, he had to go lockdown. He's like, okay, this is kind of dumb, but fine, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I had, it's been like a week, it's been like a few days, I still don't have any symptoms, so fine, I'll do it. So like, oh yeah, well, I was going to put a tracker on you to make wow. sure you don't leave your house. Uh, no, I think like, that, I definitely I think that's pushing it that. a little too far. Yeah. yeah, and then they were saying that the, um, that they're required like there, you like there's no legal thing that can stop it. You have to have it. If you're just oh, insane. Really? That's constitutional. And then they were also <laughs> saying that, um, like they were asking him about what symptoms he'd had, and then mm -hmm. he, they basically explained like if he had a runny nose or something that he would be, even if he wasn't confirmed for co for, uh, for a COVID, he would be labeled as a COVID patient or a COVID yeah. case. I don't know how that all works, but Which, is yeah, the, literally he could say he had a runny nose, and, and that COVID, would be boom. one plus COVID case. It's mm -hmm. absurd. All right, well, I guess my takeaway. Yeah, right... All right, I I got my okay. I think it's. I would definitely say it's overhyped. I think right away it was justified to do lockdowns just to see what we can figure out about it. But now we know it does like nothing to young people, and honestly, we're on our way to a vaccine. So at this point, I think. I'm a big fan of just let people do what they want, be free. They can make their own choices. If they want to go to a Trump rally, they can. They, no one's forced them to do that. Like, if Trump was making them go to Trump rallies, I think that would be, first of all, I don't think he could do that, but, like, that would obviously be frowned yeah. upon. But people are making their own decisions, so it's up to them. I would suggest wearing a mask. I wouldn't, like, I see, like, these 90-year-olds going to Trump rallies. I think they're they're stupid. I would not, like, yeah, that's I would not do that. Mistake. I would not take my grandpa to a Trump rally right now. But if you're a bunch of 20-year-olds, I think it's fine. I Honestly, if like, what are your chances like, of dying? Like, point zero three percent. You should be responsible. Like, definitely, you, you should be responsible, and at least, at least a couple of days, don't be near anybody. Yeah, for sure. So, but to, yeah. all right, here, here's a question: Do you think your school should be open or no? Uh, yeah. 
You think so? I'm not I don't learning know. anything, and I'm sick of this. Yeah, definitely. Like, like okay. the teacher. This is what's kind of the teachers are still able to go to the school. Like some of the teachers go up there, um, and go to their classrooms. Which, sure, they would be alone in there, but it's just kind of weird that they can still go like... there and they still do go there. Yeah, oh, no. I feel like it could be the other way around. Like, if you have a bunch of old teachers who don't want to get the virus, they could teach from home, and the students could go to school, maybe, because like the kids will be fine. That's, yeah, I feel like that that's would make more I, sense. But maybe I feel that's like just it me. should be. It's just any old teachers or like people, like mm-hmm. students and teachers, with, like health conditions, then they can stay home, and then it could just be like, the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah I don't pretty think much. Should be like forced to have a death sentence. Yeah, like I, yeah, for school, sure, because that's dangerous for. Mm -hmm. like i was talking to my uh, college professor today i guess for one of my classes instructor not professor he says and he says like he'll think that these covid hybrid learning type deals will have a like a impact lasting forever on our school systems like from here on out he thinks schools will offer options of like online learning like hybrid type stuff if they want because it's convenient that was kind of intentional like i feel like some behind the scenes like i don't know i don't want to get into conspiracy theories but it's kind of weird because like now some schools are saying that they would go entirely yeah. like that you can go entirely online now mm-hmm. like even without diseases but that's just saying i guess from my experience I with probably... online school it's terrible i think like in california like 40 percent of kids didn't even show up to their school last year at the end of the year <laughs> or something so obviously online that's school awesome. is terrible but <laughs> that's funny i think but unfortunate yeah so many people skipped class online so math I, I was one of I was one of the people who skipped did some you? of my classes. Cause I, just, I just did not enjoy it. Like, there was literally no point in me going there because yeah. all I would listen to was them rambling. Yeah, okay. Like, right now, like, our entire football team's out uh, quarantining. And, like, yeah, it's, I used it's to have my weird. friend in, like, all of our classes, and I haven't seen him zoom into one of our classes yet. So I don't really know if he's getting the work Jeez. done. He probably is, but I don't know. So, yeah, I definitely think in person is much better. But reopen the schools, I'd yeah, say. For sure. Um, what yeah. do you think Trump's biggest strength is? We talked about his negative, his rhetoric is terrible. What do you think is, what's he best at, you think? Um, he's different. He's just not a politician. He's, oh, of course, okay, in 2016, yeah. he was new to the game. And part of the reason he won is because people hated Hillary. I mean, like, how could you <laughs> want someone who can't even keep track of emails to be <laughs> your president? Like, yeah, it's, she's gone you know. so many failures. Like, Benghazi, she didn't get God, troops out there. Be. And, like, uh, tons of Americans died. Like she was upset, and then <laughs> yeah. she lied. She was saying like he was under sniper fire, which was all false. Yeah, you know, I think you're just being sexist. Yeah. You just don't like women. <laughs> but no, like what yeah. you're doing with like, yeah. okay, yeah, Trump's not your typical politician. Like Joe Biden at the debates, when he's losing, he'll just look straight at the camera and he'll just give you, you know, that dead that dead person who used to be in your family. That's Trump's fault, and he just panders and oh, it's so yeah, annoying. It enrages me. It makes me so mad. <laughs> It's so such a weak did tactic. The entire debate was just say, "Hey, um, <laughs> Trump has no plan, and he's killed two hundred twenty thousand people." Um, but I will make masks like mandates. I and have stuff. a plan, and his plan is basically the same thing that we're already doing. I think the thing is there is no good plan. Like a lot of countries around the world are struggling with COVID. A lot. Of, I think like Germany and. <laughs> Uh, what are we? The UK. What are you like, supposed to do? Like, yeah, you can't. Like, like it's going to make people, its way through the population, no matter what. Honestly, at the end of the day, people are blaming Trump for this. But like, what is he supposed to do? He's done like almost everything he can already do. Like everything else. Like if he were to do anything else, he would literally just be going against their rights. Yeah. Like, and all the other responsibilities are for Congress, like for um, them to pass. Like uh, uh, stimulus release, bills. release, and I think Nancy Pelosi's yeah, holding those up packages. for yeah, yeah. She doesn't want she, she wants to make Trump make, look bad. Jesus, it's yeah. She makes one, but she also adds like we have to eliminate like air travel and stuff on it. Like that's just that's so just not, she knows he won't sign it in. Because like, how could you do that? That's completely ridiculous. Like I said, yeah. our our leaders are so stupid. This whole pandemic is really showing to me how dumb they are. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I mean, I heard it. He was, they were telling, but, I yeah, didn't think it was this bad. Like, like I didn't think it was this bad. But uh, yeah, so you like him because he's not the typical politician, which is definitely what a lot of people would say. I'd say I kind of agree with that. I like to see him just I mean, not be politically correct all the time, like Joe Biden and stuff. Not pander to yeah, people, just say it how it is. 
Yeah, for sure. He is a true patriot. Like he does kind of lie a little bit. Like well, yeah, definitely. Nowhere well, near on the levels of Biden, but like well, I, I just don't see what's the point in that. Like why lie? Like because th- even that little lie wouldn't help you that much. You yeah, I think it's truth. because he just always talks in like hyperboles ever or whatever. So we're always the best, we're the greatest, we're the best. So if we don't have the best or the greatest, then people will fact check him and be like, nope, we're like third best and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah he Maybe. definitely I, lies I a lot. I think that's but... all kind of how he's used to talking, like over exaggerating. Oh, yeah. Which I, again, he's, I he's don't. He's a billionaire. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Like I, <laughs> I just find him like bragging his ego i just find that funny at this point like i got over that back in 2017 he has a big ego he's gonna say he's the best people still are stuck on that i've gotten over that yeah it's a dumb thing to say but it's it is funny (laughs) so like in the debate when he's like i could have raised way more money than you joe i you know like i'm the best i'm the best i just start laughing at that like i don't that's not a reason for me to not vote for him it it does it makes him look (laughs) dead and i don't think that's gonna lose him too many votes like i don't think so it just gives them a talking point like fractions of percents but yeah it's it's not much oh how did you truly talking about trump as president he truly cares about being president because not a lot of people realize it but a he donates like 99.999 percent of what he makes as president to people because he he said he was never going to make like a dime off being president which is so far i mean he has to keep a dollar for legal reasons but yeah, yeah he's but donating the rest so that's like four hundred thousand. well it isn't much since he's a billionaire but that's still well yeah i'm also he's donating his money but he's also losing money like according yeah. to uh the very credible source like bloomberg news Let's go. last year alone he lost 300 million dollars yeah, yeah he, like and he, he's losing a lot of money being president yeah like whereas most politicians like joe biden barack obama they would use their power to make books and stuff and get more money become millionaires trump is literally yeah. i think he's lost like a billion dollars at this point i've been told yeah yeah so Some, something like that so when people tell me he doesn't video. care about like the american people i just i don't believe that at all that's awesome and i watch his like rallies yeah. and stuff and i just feel like such a patriot man like he's just hyping up america saying we're the best which i obviously agree with and i don't know he's just good vibes and then i go look at the democratic rally and they're just saying how terrible america is and how systemically racist we are and stuff like and it's just and there's seven yeah up. there's four people clapping it is it's it's so cringe yeah i definitely it really is yeah so yeah good stuff from trump not being the typical politician definitely um let's see we and got that works super hard too yeah like he literally got covid and he was out in like four days back to work it's insane like three days yeah three days even like he, i'm pretty sure it works like nine hours a day or something like that. Yeah, it's which crazy how much you work. Everyone would be like, oh, he's at his golf course all day. Which, by the way, people it's, act like golf is not good exercise. If you're 70 years old, honestly, golf is good ex- exercise for you. Even if you're driving the cart, honestly, it's it's good stuff. Just speaking from yeah. a golfer myself, I just can say that. But uh, I got a question here. Thoughts on our media? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just so sick of the media. Like, because there's no mainstream media that's good. It's like Fox News is a lot. Yeah, I I agree with you. They refuse to talk about George Soros. Like, they're just not good. They've been lost. Like, because they've been purchased. Because, I mean, if you go up the chain, there's literally like three people who own all the media in the country, plus a bunch of other stuff. Which, I don't know. That's kind of. That is kind of sketchy. Should that be allowed? Yeah. I don't don't know. That's just weird that people have that much power. I don't know. President Roosevelt, because there was, um, of course, back in the Industrial Revolution, like, there were just massive, basically, armies of workers, like, working for these giant companies who basically had more power than the president, basically, because yeah. they kind of could control the rest of the country while he can only control the area that's, like, uh, 400 miles away in a circle around Washington, D.C., basically. But yeah, mm-hmm. he ended up. Uh, crouching those unions because it was just too corrupt and i feel like Trump should be able to do that yeah yeah definitely. the media so like it, they, they're so misleading and it just makes me so angry like i read an article a couple days ago like all the racist times uh at racist things trump has done they were like saying stuff about um he said neo-nazis are, like five people of course which isn't true like <laughs> that that clip makes me so mad because they literally cut out the second half Let's see, which one are you referring to? Uh, What's the whole thing? Uh, It was the Charlesville one, and then he was saying, like, Oh, like good people people on both sides. sides. 
I yeah, think. and then literally right afterwards, he said that he said, and neo Nazis and white supremacists should be condemned totally. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah, it's just how. That is definitely an annoying talk, annoying talk point when people say that. But, anyways, okay, like recently in school, I had to do like a media bias, and I agree with you completely. I did like a thing on like ABC News. They were reacting to the vice presidential debate, and all they had was Kamala Harris one, Kamala Harris one. And then I go over to Fox News, and they had Donald Trump Jr. on. He went on for like eight minutes talking about how. Uh, Mike Pence just gave the best performance ever, which he did. He did give a good performance, but the media bias is so obvious. And it, it goes yeah, back to I like, can't stand any bias. Yeah, it goes okay. It goes back to like what you said in the Discord. Like we all live in our own echo chambers. Like my parents, all they do is watch Fox News. They're just told what they want to be told all day. Like yeah, and that's oh. something that really bothers me because yeah. like some some Trump supporters are just as stupid as some leftists. Like they just yeah. buy what the news tells them. They really can't say it, like. They're like, oh, I don't like them because I'm pretty sure this one time Melania Trump said she doesn't like Chinese. Or, like, a Trump supporter could be like, Biden is a dirty communist and is going to bring socialism to America. Like, Mm -hmm. it's just these, some, they're just cheap at this point to, like, either side. And I don't like that. That's something I really don't like about a two party system that divides the country. So, what would be the alternative? I've heard about that. I don't have been studying this at all. How would just that work? I have all the parties and how would that work though? Just, how does that run for president? How do you... and then people they can just run? They don't have to go to a party. They don't have to be nominated. They can just run. So anyone? How? No, like no limit. How would you even do well, stuff? Well, we then? technically don't really have a limit. But if you notice, well, yeah. yeah, like a trend. You know, everyone who's been <laughs> become president is mm-hmm. also rich. Kind of a coincidence. Yeah, I guess that uh, that might help a little. A little sketchy. No. <laughs> That definitely helps a lot, but uh, yeah, for sure. So, how so? Like, how many people would be on the ballot on election day if it was just a if we got rid of the two party system? Would there just be two or would there right be... now? I think the ballot shows like seven people because there's like the Green Party, which is like the small oh, yeah. little thing that's the independents, and then you have Joe Biden and you have Donald Trump. Yeah, all these. But what of if? Course. So, if you're independent party, would we get it down to two people? Just two independents. With your way, probably. How would that work? Probably. I just that's interesting. That sounds kind of radical. I don't know. Have we ever done anything like that? Does anyone do anything like uh, that? I mean, that's how the founding fathers wanted it. No really? parties. I like. I've just never done yeah, that. That's George Washington. That. Man. Like, that's because they they were right. It would divide the country, but it kind of makes me mad that literally, like, the president right after the first one, second president, like, they, they couldn't even last two presidents before they <laughs> could have a two party system. Yeah. It's like, come on. It took a couple of years. Definitely. Um, so yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. What do you think? All right. If Joe Biden wins, what do you think the future of America looks like? Oh Same. no! Literally everything Trump has done so far. It's just gonna, yeah, he's talking about he's gonna back. cut the tra- Trump ha- uh, tax, tax cuts, cuts, which is like which is just such a dumb thing to do. It's clearly helping the economy. Of course, like right now, it's. I mean, actually, right now it's probably why it's not even worse. But yeah, yeah our... it's it's just insane. Literally, they're saying like it trumps America. The unemployment's like eight point four percent. It's like yeah, because there's literally disease going around. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's... governors are forcing people in their houses. They literally can't go to work even if they wanted to, which they do. Yeah, I know. And then, um, literally, when Obama uh, got out of office and Trump became the president, mm-hmm. the unemployment rate was eight point one percent. Was it that high? And then he brought then it down to like. It four, was three, three or four. Dude, he brought it down. Was really it actually low. at eight percent? Jesus. 8. And then he brought it down to the yeah, lowest ever, like, high, best economy ever. It just—it's one of the things that just makes boils my blood so much because they were like yeah. Obama was saying, "Yeah, the economy can't get better. Like uh, we did our best, it just can't. Uh, Trump can't. He what magic wand does he have? Then he be- and as soon as Trump becomes president, they go from Obama's economy." To Trump's economy, and, and just... then once it gets good again, because Trump changed once regulations, um, then the once the economy got good, they were saying it's Obama's economy. Yeah, and Obama he inherited it. For it. Yeah, it's I don't know. Those people will never be able to credit Trump with anything. I don't know why. It literally pains them. I think to say something good about him. Like one thing yeah, I've been doing then, is like screenshotting articles from CNN and just like screenshotting the homepage, all their top articles, like every day for leading up to the election. I've seen like maybe two good articles on Trump in the last like four weeks. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. 
that's something that really bothers me is like the environmentalists like they're siding with Biden, which is just so dumb like look he was vice president not even that long ago and our carbon emissions were going up but then trump becomes president our carbon emissions are not only going down yeah but he's heading some because he's basically improving the environment while not screwing over people while Biden's plan is to screw over it's people good. and hope the uh, environment gets better. It's just not a good strategy. With the, and uh, how we so good friends with China, like that's part of the reason why the environment is so bad because mm-hmm. China is making all this stuff, like basically all of our stuff for us along with Europe and stuff, and they don't care about the environment at all. So they just I'm not using more efficient technology, stuff like that, literally dumping stuff in the, river, in, uh, the ocean. That's probably the reason why there's so much trash because we pay China to actually take care of our recycling. We send it to them, and then they just we, dump it in the ocean. Do we actually do that? Yeah, we we send it to them. They've been doing that for like dang for like twenty years or something like really? that. Wow. And they're still doing. It. And I guess I think it's like Congress who's supposed to stop it, but they just don't care. <laughs> I actually like didn't know that. Like AOC. Oh, she's okay. yeah. It's it just all right. We could talk. Okay, hold on. So I think. The thing with climate change, I like I won't deny it. Like if, if the climate's warming, it's warming. But like I think it's definitely more of like a world issue. Like America can't just do it by itself. We gotta have China and India help us out. And I I don't think they have plans of doing that. And if you want to talk about AOC Yeah, they obviously don't. And I think we lead the world in reducing carbon emissions anyway, so we're doing our part. But uh we don't necessarily lead the world in negating carbon but emissions, but we're doing really good. Yeah, we're reducing them. Okay, what do you, you want to talk about the Green New Deal? and AOC uh sure hopefully the green new deal will never be a thing Biden is taking a part of it the original yeah. green new deal was a hundred trillion dollars in cost of taxpayer money <laughs> Biden's is 35 trillion still way too much for money. something that we might work we're, we're like 24 trillion in debt now yeah and it's just absurd that we would it it might not handle even handle the situation like this Mm-hmm. Look, instead of spend, like forcing people to pay for something that might not work, how about just invest a little bit of money into renewable technologies or improving existing technologies to make them more energy efficient? Because mm-hmm. wasn't the uh, original Green New Deal like stop air travel and yes. ban cows yes, and stuff? Like like and what are they supposed to do with the cows are they just gonna like kill all the cows i don't know <laughs> I, like, how... was oh, no breeding new cows. but yet she still has aoc who introduced that bill or whatever i don't know how that all works but she's got a big following and i don't know why she has the hype but that's scary if she might be the future of the democratic party honestly oh no <laughs> it's a scary i mean thought. she's a student face for it i must say people are yeah so radical like it's so off-putting to me, honestly, as a voter. But um, yeah, what do you think the future of a Trump presidency would look like if he got elected for four more years? Um, Just... something that I expect to happen is a the rights and like almost doing because of course if he wins the rights are going to go increase. But because of that, not only will that encourage him to put more, I guess, order and I don't know, say like. Like he he will be encouraged more to do it, and he'll have yeah. more of a reasoning to it. Because like, how can you not? Because they're literally like burning down cities. Yeah, I know it's getting it's like, getting so old at this that? point. It's so yeah, that's something I expect to happen. Another thing is the FBI. Like it's just a total mess. Like literally, Obama and Joe Biden can't get caught committing treason against the United States. That is spying on Trump's campaign before and after he became president. Mm-hmm. And they literally got caught, and nothing's happening. Trump said that already, and I feel like that's probably the reason Biden's president. He just doesn't want to go to prison. <laughs> there's so much on him, like the laptop, China, Ukraine, like the gas stuff. Hunter mm-hmm. Biden, yeah, so much stuff is going on. Like Hunter Biden's like stripper baby. Apparently he, because he was, um, he had re- sexual relations with a, a stripper in Russia. Was being mm-hmm. trafficked by the mob. Oh my god! I can't, and, it's, yeah, like I, how? I wish it had to it's out. just how corrupt our politicians are. Jesus, it's insane. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's just insane. And I especially think, with like how Biden never has done anything good in his life. Like, <laughs> like he's really not a, a real job in his forty-seven. Being years. a senator is not really a real job. Yeah, because you just have to say stuff. Mm-hmm. So. I guess I got predictions to how people will react to a Biden win. I guess we kind of already went over that, but 
You think there would still yeah. be riots even if Biden won? Or what? Uh, yeah. Because he's going to let them it happen. Okay, yeah, that is true. Yeah, they know they're not going to face any backlash, especially if Biden's doing it. Because I was watching like Stephen Crowder today, and they had a guy on the ground. He said the cops were just like, they would just come clear out the area and then leave, and then the, uh, the rioters and looters would just come right back and start looting Walmart again right after the cops left. Yeah. So if Joe Biden was elected, he definitely wouldn't enforce that. But Gosh, yeah, that's looting. It just makes me so mad. It makes me feel bad for all the small businesses and stuff that have been destroyed. Yeah, this by the thing that is racial that justice. Saying hurting, they're saying it's against it's reparations against like major corporations. It doesn't hurt Walmart or Target or well, any of those businesses. Okay, they're know, huge. But... Like those are literally just like a dent on the car. It doesn't mean anything. All the small businesses, they're out of pay. These major corporations are just going to buy those small businesses and go there. Yeah, and just you basically own the economy. I don't. Yeah, I still don't know how I feel Trump, about that. But. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure Trump's gonna. Get, that's something that's gonna be scary because a Biden, a Biden economy with entire almost entirely major corporations, it's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. Which I would not. Be, yeah, that's something that'd be genuinely terrifying because yeah. that's already gonna be an issue for Trump. He's got to rebuild the economy again. Which he, I'd say, he kind of is. Like it's definitely. I think it's more yeah. of a V shape going back up it's still definitely uncertain but honestly it's yeah i mean he, he'll he get it done i would guess by 2022 but yeah is that when he, you think yeah. the covid's gonna be finally dying off by 2022 or when hopefully is all this... yeah, something honestly. i find kind of funny is these experts and scientists saying like the vaccine's gonna happen right after the election Oh my Which, god! I don't know. I kind of find that suspicious. <laughs> that, but... that is right, and like all these places that are opening up right after the election. Especially it's how it's gotten done so fast, like I just can't believe that. You know, I, mm-hmm. I really like I'm not anti-vax whatsoever, but I hope they don't force that on people. Yeah, I don't think nothing be, should be forced on anybody, but I mean, yeah, if they got like, a vaccine, maybe I would like consider it. I like, guess, like a smallpox vaccine, sure, but like. Mm-hmm. I hope it's something that's not even that bad compared to other things here, which doesn't make sense. Yeah, for sure. Okay, how about this question? Do you think Do you think uh, the world's still going to be around in four years? Or I feel like tensions in America are just getting tighter and tighter. Every single year, people are getting more divided. Are we on the brink of a civil war eventually if we keep doing this? What do you think? I mean... Will America still be here in four like years? A civil war could kind of fix it because right <laughs> oh, now okay. it's yeah. kind of like dwindling. Yeah. But like once the civil war happened and ends, whoever came out on top, which I would assume it's the right, <laughs> because you know of course gun owners and the right is not full of soy boys <laughs> yeah. demanding to get vegan sausages. And stuff. I, I mean, you do have a point. So, yeah. but are you are you advocating for a civil war right now? I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't really mind. I'm not gonna that might not be good in your future election campaign when people clip that, but uh, that's all right. Which, maybe, maybe. <laughs> that'll be taken maybe, out of context. But those people who accuse me of that, then um, they're, they're racist. Yeah, that's a good comeback. That works. All right. Uh, can we... I figured we'd throw this into the podcast since our future selves will probably be listening to this eventually. Do you want to go over right. your future plans? I was going to ask you about your in-depth guide you want to run for president. I was just going to... See if you fulfill your lifelong so want, plan. If you want to go through all that right I'm, now, yeah. When I'm older, I want to get into politics somehow. Like, uh, and by old, I mean like 20 years from now. Yeah. Um, I would like to like after I've kind of established myself as a person, like well known in society, like How former are you gonna do that? Uh, naval person. Yeah. Like uh, a small business owner, hopefully a large business at some point. Like a someone who has a good degree like I, I that's kind of like my goal and then i want to run for something like senator congress like something like that mm-hmm. but yeah president would be the life goal and then maybe dream. like you'll get lucky and maybe like the president like in joe biden's case nobody knew who he was he got elected for or he got picked for vp and then there you go people will like you just because like that and i mean hey I'll, I'll endorse you with my however many subs I have then. Maybe it might be 2K subs in 20 years. <laughs> yes, President Doha. Yeah, I got you. But uh, Also, you better let me fly on Air Force One, too. I saw the Nelk boys. I don't know if you know who they are, but they were flying on Air Force One with Trump. I thought that was pretty cool. So if you invite Sounds me, great. I'll, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, That would be cool. Um, yeah, I just, what, what, what type of a business would you run, do you think? 
Um, my two ideas right now um, are either 3D printing since it's that's I definitely gonna get big. It's, that's gonna I, get yeah, huge. Yeah, I predict it's gonna be an increasing thing because we already have 3D printers who can that can make food, and that's just gonna go even better. Like I, I predict that in the future we'll be 3D printing houses. Or at least house materials. Jesus, yeah, definitely. Wait, did you just say with, like, we we're working on technologies to three D print organs. I don't know how <laughs> that could possibly. <laughs> that work is insane, those. dude. People are crazy. Yeah, Wait, did you just say we print crazy. food? We three D print mm-hmm. food. Did I hear that? Edible food. I mean, it's not. If you think about it, it actually isn't that crazy. Like, <laughs> or I guess like, you just... could three D print like some dough and like bake okay. it into bread. It's not that crazy. But, like... All right, I guess. I was thinking something else. Yeah. Houses. Yeah, definitely yeah. parts for houses. I could see that. Maybe not houses. But yeah, I want to 3D print something like maybe guns or... Because uh, like, uh, that would be something I could do. Like, uh, There's definitely going to be a plastic invention that's like about as durable and heat resistant as metal. Which yeah. would be a suitable replacement for the metal and guns. So yeah, that's something I'd like to do. That's smart. Some 3D printing business because I, I don't have to hire many people, you know. It would just be and a good starter. Or my other idea is a food truck network. There we kinda go. Kind of like a mobile triple A. Meals kinda. on wheels. It's just going to be a variety <laughs> of food that's somewhat similar. But uh, since healthy food's on the rise, I would definitely search some of that. Mm-hmm. Stuff that tastes good and is good for you. That's something I would definitely do. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, hey, hopefully that works out for you. I guess we'll come back in 20 years. If YouTube, I wonder if YouTube's going to be a thing in 20 years. Um, I don't know what could replace it. Yeah, I don't know. They're just such, they, yeah, like we were talking about big corporations. They got control. They have so much power. But uh, yeah, we're I mean, actually, like, that's about all I got for. Do you have anything else that you want to add? or um, Any other questions or anything? Because... I don't know. I we, guess. we actually just went for an hour I mean, and six we minutes. <laughs> we don't really have to talk about Joe Biden being mentally. Uh, do well. you want to talk about his That's gaffes? Or... Yeah, yeah, I guess we can. Like how he's called himself his own husband four times now. See, I, I feel like some of those he said Jill Biden. I don't know. I haven't heard all of them. Maybe one or two at the most, but the most recent one he was saying. I wonder if he was joking in his most recent one. Because... <laughs> He might have been. He, uh, said, he, he said uh, that I'm Joe Biden's husband and I'm Kamala Harris's running mate. And then he was like, you all think I'm kidding, don't you? <laughs> Which that kind of freaked me out. Yeah, I was he's, like, definitely, minute, what? he's definitely not doing well. I kind of feel bad for him that he's being yeah, used to get power. Time, he's but, this crooked, he's this crooked yeah, guy. But he's like, he mixes up if he's running for senate or president, he mixes up his wife and what his daughter or whatever. He he likes kids <laughs> rubbing his hairy legs. His like like what? He says some weird yes, stuff, man. And if I think literally just the other day he said his campaign. Stuff, like, what else has he done? He's literally kissed his granddaughter twice. <laughs> well, I guess that's not terrible but as long as it's smooched her on the lips. What do you mean it's not terrible? <laughs> he kissed her on the lips. I guess that twice. is kind of weird. I was just gonna say it depends where, but <laughs> and I think he said they're running like the biggest tax evasion or no well, voter fraud campaign or something. He literally said that the other day. It's insane. The things he's said. Like if Trump said something like that, it'd be over. It'd be everywhere. But yeah, it would. He's a Democrat. I mean, it's the double he standard. Does have a slight <laughs> gaff. It does. Like he mispronounces a word. Like how how are you supposed to pronounce like this one complicated word you've never heard of in your life? Like, yeah, I think. Gonna screw that up? I think some people are quick to call him out on gaffes, but he's definitely not doing well. <laughs> for yeah. A lot of it. But uh, that's pretty much all I got. Um, I guess for me personally on Tuesday, I'm going in at 7 a.m. I'm going to vote Donald Trump, obviously. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people would say they maybe not do that with a clear conscience, but I'm just going to do it. P- Trump makes me feel patriotic. I feel like the future with Trump would be bright. I'm sick of people calling me racist and stuff. I'm going to support him. I'm scared of I'm scared of the radical left, man. They're scary. Like I saw this Pennsylvania thing. They were like, conservative vo- voices matter. They tweeted that, and then the radical left went insane, and they made him take it down. And like that scares me. So the more of a person who will stop that from happening, the more of a person I support. So yeah, that's, like, that's what yeah, I'm doing Kyle on Tuesday. Kyle Rittenhouse's family were literally being targeted. Like there were people posting on Facebook um, his mother and his sister's address, and people were talking groups how they're gonna show up and like. Yeah, man, these people are scary. Them up and stuff. It, it's a disposition. And like, uh, well, the Girl Scouts tweeted a picture of 
uh, and celebrating. Economy. Yeah, and they had to take that down. Like these people are insane, and like a vote I'm for Joe crazy. Biden is a vote to getting them closer to power. And I can't do that. That's scary, honestly, for the future of America. Yeah. So that's why yeah, on I'm Tuesday, surprised how I'm hyped up th- that they would do that. that I'm the, not. The girls got to do it. Like, oh yeah, I'm surprised they did it. I'm not surprised they got canceled for it. But. <laughs> yeah, because like they're they're okay with having dudes be scouts and girls. Scouts. That's something that never made sense to me. I don't know. Like it's... You literally have two separate things. It's not like you're being restricted. You can you you can be a scout. Mm. Why would you want to be a boy scout if you're a girl or vice versa? I don't actually. Yeah, I really don't understand that at all. I don't know. That's ah, oh, <laughs> this why why. Um, they I mean, literally teach different things in uh, either organization for a reason. Yeah, definitely, and I think it's better for to not implement girls into the Boy Scouts. I think it's nice to have boys have, hang out with their own friends, have some alone time with just the same gender and stuff. I think that's helpful. Plus, isn't there literally already like a normal just Scouts organization that has both? Uh, I guess I haven't heard anything about that. I thought the Boy Scouts just changed their name to Scouts. Yeah, just, maybe just to be all inclusive, which is ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I was going to scroll Twitter to see if there's anything stupid on here, but I mean, there always is. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's anything specific on here to go through. I guess we're already an hour and 10 minutes in. I was going to, I didn't know if we would have enough time. I had like some like Call of Duty and stuff questions in here, but I don't know if you want to get into that. Unless you want to keep <laughs> I going. I don't know what the Call of Duty be about. Yeah, I don't know. I was and just like, and stuff. I didn't think, Dude, I didn't know. I, I can keep on talking. Yeah, honestly, I'm enjoying it. That was an hour and 11 minutes of politics, I guess. So that's that's good. And, I mean, if you want to keep going, let's do it. All right. What are you looking for in the new COD? We're now switching topics okay, to Call of Duty, so everyone. This is not politics anymore. <laughs> I already predict isn't it going to be very good. It's going to be more fun than Modern Warfare, that's for sure. Modern Warfare is real boring. Really, really boring. I don't know if I agree um, with that. But... Zombies... I don't know what to think right now because at least they brought back the old perk system except there's a slight change you can level up your perks which I hope you can just make them better I hope like they're the same at first and you can make them better past that that's something that concerns me mm-hmm. and then kill streaks and zombies yeah um, that's a big that. risk like they're taking risks I think that might make it not give the zombies feel which could kill it but hopefully not <laughs> Yeah, it, it feels like they're turning zombies kind of like into Modern Warfare survival mode. Or it's that kind yeah, of which of, no one really asked for. Weird. <laughs> I'm um, really hoping that doesn't ruin it. Changing the starter weapon, like, I guess I can live with changing the starter weapon, but that's just something I don't like doing. Yeah, I can agree with that. But yeah. I, I like the new story that they're doing, like how it's similar to the old, and it's building off of that. It's an is now an adult that I think is good. Oh, yeah. They have just new zombies characters. It's, it's going to mm-hmm. be great. I hope the zombies. It is really cool. Um, oh, I was going to ask you, I guess this is another random topic. Um, yeah, you've already told me this, but you might as well say it in the podcast. What console are you going to get? The next gen. Uh, the if, PS- well, if you get one. Which one are you more hyped yeah. for? The, definitely going with the PS5. There's no way. I can... Why do you That's not like Xbox. Xbox anymore? Why not? So... Obviously, there's a failure if that is the Xbox One. <laughs> yes, so, I can I can attest that, to that. But plus, with how lazy Microsoft, oh, like, come on, like Minecraft, Minecraft is, is a, oh no, it's just failing right now. You have a point. The Bedrock Edition, at least. Yeah. Microsoft's too lazy to get. I guess like I, I think Mo Yang's re- uh, responsible for it, but can't they just give it them more re- resources? Yeah, that would be that would be helpful. Juice. Like. Uh, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to fix that game. It's just like all the slow, laggy bugs and people lagging out and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's, coding takes a. I guess I don't it, know how it, it works. It can be complex on it's, console. It's but, nothing with gameplay. Yeah, it's just not really an excuse. It's just the lag. And like, okay, what you said about the like, Xbox One, I can bugs. attest to that. Like some days, I plug in my Xbox One and it literally doesn't even start, and I have to unplug it and plug it into like three different outlets <laughs> and try it, and it literally won't start. <laughs> it's it's oh, such a knows? bad console. It's unreal. I can't believe how bad it is. Maybe that's the thing wrong with your con- with your helmets. I d- wait. So did I you d- buy a brand new Xbox? I bought the Xbox One S, which is the all digital version, because Nacho wanted to play Overwatch, and so I got it. And then to make videos and like the zombies. Yeah, and I it's when Nacho can't just switch to PlayStation. He had a PS4, but I think he gave it to his cousin, which is a oh. rip. So yeah, that was sad. It is a rip. Oh, yeah, because we used to play... Yeah, me and Nacho used to play a lot of Fortnite, which is so good. Oh, my God. Uh, no. which, did, did, Were you ever into Fortnite, like, big? 
Uh, yeah, like 2017, yeah, because like, yes. it was majorly playing World War Two and Fortnite, but World War Two got boring, so yeah, Fortnite absolutely. kind of filled Would in you... a gap in the game. Yeah, and that's when I was taking my break from Minecraft. Yeah, for That's sure. Right. I need a break from Minecraft every couple months. I'm surprised I'm not really sick of Minecraft yet after playing it for like eight months. Yeah, because like after during like the updates, I added like concrete and like I think I came back for a little bit during the aquatic update, but then yeah, I, I didn't make my full return till the um, yeah box the village the village village update. and pillage. Okay, hold on. Do you uh, were you a part of the uh, Fortnite hype? Do you think it was overhyped at its? Because in its prime, I legit think it was, it was one of the definitely most, overhyped. I wouldn't say the greatest game, but like the funnest game, not like the most best content, but it was one of the funnest ever. It was definitely fun, but yeah, like I, I just can't it was a little overhyped games anymore with how many times they've screwed us. Yeah, it's not. It's so bad. I legit, like I saw a TikTok today, which you can get into TikTok if you want here, but I, it was like imagine yeah. playing Fortnite in twenty twenty, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> Just imagine. Would you like to give it's your like spiel on TikTok activation. or whatever you want? <laughs> um, TikTok is bad. All right. And stupid. Yeah. I can take go. it. <laughs> Wait, what like, were we gonna say about Activision? Like a- yeah, go for like, it. It's kind of like how Activision screws over the fans like a lot, but how Epic Games did it a ton in a smaller time frame made us really hate it. Yeah. And then all the stuff they did yeah they definitely did good things like the battle pass and constant updates i would say was yeah. good but kind of bad at the same time but yeah cross platform yeah. was huge Wait, that's was the best thing first. ever that's so awesome yeah that's the one thing i have to be happy with epic games for is cross platform yeah they, that was huge i mean other games had it but they really brought it together yeah absolutely so uh I'm Anything so else? glad COD is going to be fully crossplay now. Yeah, that's so hype because I might get a PC here. So and <laughs> yeah, so like I said, if I get a PC, I'll be able to play with people and like but, my friends yeah. and stuff. Which is kind of why I'm hesitant to get a PC because then I can't play like old games with friends because no one has a PC where I'm from really. They're all like PS4 hmm. and stuff, so it's a rip. Um, I kind of hope COD adds a kind of like map creator thing kind of like far cry has but something like they can make like a dlc or something you have to pay for or something but yeah people can like make their own maps and stuff that would be that's one of the reasons people love far cry like okay that's what bl3 did i I guess activision could like i don't know like maybe activision career could choose what stuff people can play but yeah it'd be awesome because it'd be like custom zombies for the console people yeah absolutely that would be amazing like yeah, I feel like that could be kind of difficult to do, but I don't know if Far Cry does it. I don't know how that works at all, but it must work. It's not very good in Far Cry, but... Mm, it's something, at least. It would it, add a lot of replayability. It, it would add a lot of replayability. Yeah. For sure. Uh, okay, what do you think the best video game ever made is? I'm going to have to go with Minecraft. Yeah, that's facts. Followed like by the... Fortnite. Ooh, Fortnite. Where would you put that? Uh, well, I mean, I was saying like Minecraft was king until like Fortnite came out, and then Minecraft was kind of on other clients. Well, I'm not really like a big fan of PewDiePie. I'm glad he kind of brought back Minecraft. Yeah, he definitely did. I just kind of hate like how there's all the new bandwagon people who join. <laughs> like new that, people that just kind of irritates me. I think the majority like, it... of people are OG to Minecraft. I think I don't know, but yeah. Cause I, yes. I just don't like bandwagons of any sort. <laughs> it's all the young kids. Like I can't. It, it's hard for me to fathom that people were born in like 2014, and they're like first graders. It's, like that just seems crazy. so short ago. Like I can't believe that. But I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm like, wait a minute. My sister was born in like 2010. That only that's not that long that's, ago. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what What do you think the best console ever made was? Um. I mean, I've never really been big in, into Nintendo, so people would probably disagree with me on that. Um, because like people would say it would be a Nintendo console, but mm-hmm, I guess maybe. three Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, probably the yeah. new version, not the the original version was pretty terrible because yeah. there's the uh, red rings of death thing, but mm-hmm. it was pretty solid. It had good games. Maybe the original Xbox, if I wanted to dare, because that had some legendary games. Think so. 
I think I would agree with your first the Xbox 360 because that like implemented party chats and stuff. I think maybe for the first time, that was huge because like PS3 didn't even have party chats, which just ruins the whole console for me. Honestly, yeah. having to be in game chat the whole time. Yeah, Sony was never really carrying until the PS4. Yeah, and then the PS4 Xbox was a giant. PS4 L. was a great console, I thought. But besides the like loading times like through the like inner e the ui kind of like you know like loading a party up and stuff i feel like that takes a long time that could just be me but sometimes it takes a long time sometimes it's fast definitely it is kind of random that's how it is on the xbox though so i don't know what the deal is with that anyways ps4 definitely won that battle i have all right here's another question yeah. for you all right the future of your youtube channel are you gonna you said you're gonna get into some building tutorial is that going to be like a regular thing? Are you ever going to get into the yeah, grind of that? Yeah, I'm really big into YouTube. Like when yeah. I started, I just wanted to. It was like in the summer, and I didn't really have much to do, so I like started a YouTube because my friend had one a channel. So I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And yeah, like my first round of content wasn't very good. Like I either unlist, unlisted or deleted my old videos. Don't delete the old videos. I'm telling you, just unlist them. It's good to go look back I mean, on them. Yeah. But I mean, they were just like bad. Like I don't know what <laughs> you got to keep thinking. them. <laughs> yeah, but, I can relate to that. Yeah, like I just want to be known for Minecraft tutorial. I'm not. I don't like. I'm not ever really planning on being a giant YouTuber. Like I don't really want to do that for like yeah, job because yeah, yeah. I can see that. I want to just play video games all day. I would feel useless and I would kind of get sick of it. Yeah, that would definitely get old. But that's just how I am. I can't. I can't do the same thing for like a lot of time. I'll get sick of it. All right. Yeah. From like okay. From my experience. It's like it's obviously not hard work, but it's just so time consuming. Like I'll have to sit down and just edit a video like all day and it just drains my soul from my body. <laughs> and it kills me. And yeah, I don't know, it's not very much fun, but <laughs> I don't know, I guess I enjoy it at the end of the day. Yeah. And it's not even so much gaming, it's just like making videos it takes a lot more time than getting the footage, I'd say. Yeah. Getting the footage is the most fun part. <laughs> but like Yeah, for sure. Unless you're doing a super long video like yeah. ranking the bo4 zombies maps or like and you accidentally delete yeah. your clips when you're halfway done oh, okay or are you speaking from yeah, experience I, I, i've given up yeah I've given up <laughs> <my body>. dang <laughs> I, that's I, awful I'm not doing that again I, I had to play the first worst maps first and yeah i'm not i don't want to do that again how did you delete it on accident rip Wow. Um, I think it was like low on storage. No, it's just deleting stuff quickly. Just click the so, right yeah, button. That's know. all. <laughs> Maybe I, I like selected the wrong clips. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Um, let's see. I guess I don't have many other questions. I have one. Who do you look up to? Who do you look up to? Uh, <laughs> I guess it's too deep. I don't know. I would, I would have different answers to that. I guess it depends on what. Like, like, like Donald Trump, I kind of look up to. being a politician in that sense. Like, just, just like um, knowingly destroying your own life and reputation for the benefit yeah. of others. I can respect that. Even though he's not too respectable of a person, I can respect that in itself. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Wow, what you just said, ruining your own reputation. He really did, didn't he? Dang. Yeah. That just... so he went from, like, like, people looking up to him, like Obama was saying, everyone wants to be like Donald Trump. Yeah. Now he's this mean, biggie, racist guy. Yeah, weird how that works out. But... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I guess I don't really have anything else to do. I think at this point we're kind of just stalling time. So I guess if you have anything else you, you want to say... Who do you look up to? Um, ooh, the reverse question. Oh, uh, I guess, I guess we could do in terms of the YouTube channel, more of right now. Um, all right, look up to PewDiePie's content in the fact that he can okay. post whatever he wants and people will watch it, and he can make like anything entertaining, really. It's, it's kind of weird how that works. And like the Vanoss editing style, I look up to that. How his old editing style used to be like short and to the point, which I liked, but now he's kind of faded away from that. And uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't really watch many gaming videos anymore. Wait, what do you watch on YouTube these days? Just like political stuff. Or... Um, 
a little bit political, like a little bit Minecraft. And then sometimes like if just to have noise playing on that yeah, one definitely. Feel, like if I finish like shows and I'm waiting for a new season, then I'll mm -hmm. watch like some entertaining like engineering videos. Yeah, you're some good, in like, that stuff. real life lore, like stuff like that. I like to listen to. Yeah, I, I like to learn. I just don't like school because it's so inefficient. It's like subjects that you don't care about at all. That you're being forced yeah. to information only to relay it and forget yeah. about it two months later. Like I swear, it's it's like they're literally trying to make me hate the subject. Yeah, definitely. Like how can Again, you I... possibly think making me read this terrible book is gonna make me a better <laughs> reader? I mean, don't ask me. I, I agree with you. I, I hate our school system. I don't know how to fix it, but it's just terrible. <laughs> well, if I ever do become president, that's yeah. my promise. Let's go. Would be school out reform. Fix the school system. Yes, I endorse that idea. Along with the reform to the FDA. It's gonna be, I'm just going to say, it's going to be hard to get the boomers. to. I guess they might be gone by then. But uh, like the old people, because my parents, our school is kind of like the uh, progressive school in the area. So we're trying out like a new scheduling system. And my parents just hate it because it's different than what they had basically and it gives me free time yeah. to do stuff it's more of like flexibility and they don't like that so it's hard to That's win over the old cool. people because old people don't like it basically it's just every there's no periods like hour long or whatever it's just like 20 minute increments throughout the day called mods and like you could have like a, <laughs> it changes every day what classes you're in it's just it's weird but that's kind of cool it gives you it's a lot of free time kind of like your school council now well I that's what i'm saying now. i actually love it it's called flex mod it's amazing it's so much better. The only thing my school council is working towards is ending school uh, choice. Ending ending what? School choice. Oh, like I don't they were it. trying hard to pass it, but I think they like ran out of votes or something for it. I don't know. Oh, I don't I'm glad I didn't get passed. They won't really school. affect me once I have my license and I can drive. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyone who has to take the bus, like they would be forced to go to a certain school. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, I, it's I don't think I'd like that. Thing, no. no. It's really dumb. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Wait, what's this it? Okay, most, hold. This... I got a question for you. What's it like being in, like, a big school? Like, do you, like, go to the sporting events and stuff? Have you ever tried out for anything? You know, uh, like... I really don't go to events much. I, I do go to comps. To what? For, like, I, I go to the ROTC comps. Yeah, I still don't know but, what that is exactly. Like, the but... football games and stuff, I don't go to. So I you don't just go don't there. Care. Do you like know a I lot of people? Think, yeah, I don't know. Can you like name like a lot of people in your class, I mean, or do you like not know them? Uh, I I, I kind of know them. I mean, I'm more of an introvert. Like other students, I can talk to pretty well, but like adults, that's what I struggle with. You know? Yeah, I can relate to that. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that. I can pretty easily like, talk to people older, my own age, it's but more hard to talk. Because like old people make like jokes that I don't understand and stuff, and like phrases that I don't get and then i just laugh awkwardly and stuff and yeah it's definitely harder to interact with older people not only that, i think <laughs> but talk differently with them yeah it's that too it's like, like you can joke about different things mm -hmm. yeah so, i'd say i struggle with that too definitely like i don't know how to make a joke with an old person uh, <laughs> yeah you got a point i don't know i really don't know and even though so yeah <laughs> I like I said, I got nothing else. If you just want to pull something up, we're an hour and a half in, so that went very long. But I mean, hey, yeah, it's good stuff. We'll love it looking back on it. Our future selves. I don't so know. We if, don't have if we made it all the way through. But... Anything to talk about? Like, I, don't know. I got nothing else. I'm out of things. Yeah. I mean, we could always um, did wrap you it up. Play with Legos. Uh yeah, Legos were the thing back in kindergarten, yes. first grade. I loved them. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> I I had a childhood. Contrary to popular belief. Yes, I, <laughs> I continue with Legos so like 10 or something. You keep going with, oh, but until 10. I, I thought you said you were still old. grinding Legos to this day. Oh. Uh, which I mean. I'm, I'm just way too old for that. Yeah, I guess. So, yeah. Do you, okay, so you don't play any sports, right? Uh, you you got to go golf. Not unless you consider ROTC activities. I mean, yeah, I kind of do. Because you have to like that, run miles I, and stuff. Like it's a, yeah, it's yeah, like intense workouts. Like practice and then have to compete with others. Mm -hmm. Gosh, dude, I really need to start exercising. Same, I got basketball in but a month. <laughs> My coach so is gonna long. kill us. 
he's actually going to kill us, which I hate sports practices. You probably can't relate, but practices are just awful. It's like the worst the thing. The exercise, I struggle at motivating myself to do it. Like the thing that was great about my PST practice was I was doing it with others. So of course I'm going to go along with it. But if I thought like when I was like alone at home and I needed to do stuff, like I was just like, um, it's hard when you don't yeah, have anyone else pushing you, you have to push yourself. That's why it's yeah. nice to have teammates. Definitely. Especially in track, it does that's a big good track thing. Get it done. Yeah, for sure. That is a great feeling. Yo, okay, yeah, like okay, my years of track. That's literally one of the only things I liked about track is the feeling of accomplishment I got after completing a race. I hated everything else, but when I got done with the race, it felt so good that I just loved the little energy boost and stuff that it gave me. So that's about it. That's my oh, whole track gosh. career. No one likes yeah. running. I'd say one of the things I loved about working out last year was. I don't know, kind of like pretty strong. Like in my PE class, I was able to show off my physical athleticness, which people, I don't think they would think of that about me, but I'm a nerdish person. Yeah. I'm very like nerdy and quiet. So yeah, I, was I mean, like I can also like pop on in like dodgeball or something. Oh, and that, okay. Like that type of we, stuff. I, I, don't, I don't think we ever did. Do- no, we never did dodgeball because they're like Dang. super safe Too dangerous. stuff. It's dumb. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I, I, dodgeball is so much fun. I don't know anyone could hate it. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I guess I can relate to you. I wish I like. I'm definitely. I got the nerd build. I'm not strong at all. I. I think it's one of my regrets in life is not going to weightlifting in the summer. And now yeah. it's got to the point where I just, I just can't lift anywhere near as much as my friends are. So I get embarrassed and I just don't go anymore. So that's what that's gone to. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, in my state, like, because you know how yeah, at your school you still do like sit up tests, right? No, we don't do that anymore. I don't think uh, we used to. to. We used to way back. We don't, I don't think we do any tests anymore. Like we used to Wait, way back, what? but we don't do anything anymore. I don't think. Oh, that's weird. Maybe, maybe they do. Well, yeah, I yeah, because like, but you do the tests. But yeah, we used to do like sit up tests. You, like you do how many sit ups you can in like two minutes. Well, they changed that to like I can't remember what it's called. It's like um. But it's something really dumb. Something it easy. All revolves like, around arm strength, like jumping or jacks or something. Strength, um, around your arm length. It's it's arm stupid. length. Like, nice. Kid in our class is not very athletic whatsoever. Like he performed terrible on the other things, mm-hmm. but he has stupid long arms. So he <laughs> literally didn't have to like do anything. Let's go. It's so dumb. Yeah, that's like, weird. Um, yeah, because I I can't. Re- I wish I remember what it was called. But yeah, you basically like slide your arms past the line and you have to like bend your back to do it, which I had to like raise part of my back and I had to do it. Well, he only had to like raise his head a little bit. And <laughs> yeah. It was, I was so mad when that happened. Yeah. I haven't done any of that Everyone tests in, in a long time. Everyone hated it. Dang. That's tough. What, yeah, great, wait, what grade good. was that in? Ninth. Yeah. I definitely didn't Last do anything year. like that in ninth grade. So I don't know. All right, all right. Should we should we wrap this up? I feel like we should. Yeah. Honestly, going into this, we didn't yeah. know what we we were thinking like thirty minutes, but there's an hour and a half for you guys. I don't know if anyone made it to the end. I'm sure our future selves made it to the end, so that's a dub. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, man. It was it was a fun chat. Didn't expect that, but uh, I think it went pretty well. And I guess we'll never know. We'll see. In a week from now, we'll know everything. I hope. Hopefully, the elections well, resolved. By just then. in case. Hold on. Just in case our future selves um, watch this. Would you like to give a message to your future self? That's actually, I had that written down, but I thought that'd be stupid to say. Um, I don't care. Yeah, no, no, I, I, like the, I like the question. I mean, I'm just hoping Trump wins, man. <laughs> I just, that's really at the end of the day. It's I just, very good. My please. message to my future self is, um, am I disappointed to you now? <laughs> Did you just ask, would you say my disappointment or would you just say... Yes, am I disappointment to you now, future self? Am I disappointment? That's that's a good now? question. I don't know. That's kind of depressing, though. You might you might not get the right answer to that. <laughs> Dang. Um. Definitely. Yeah, for, for sure. But yeah, there's our future selves. Hopefully, our future selves enjoy that. Future Dova and me. Um, whether you're 20 years older than us right now, that'd be crazy. Do you think that could happen? Me being like 30 watching this, no way. Perhaps. I mean, Maybe. some people do that for videos. 30. I have a pre-recorded you- message. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do, like yo like Mr. Beast video. He says like hi me five years ago. I'm making a video like that. I'm gonna do hi me in ten years. You got to. I'm definitely doing that. I I've been putting that. On. I'm getting that done. But anyways, okay. 
we gotta wrap it up thanks for coming on it's getting late uh i gotta get to bed i don't get enough sleep and it's 1 a.m already dang it okay <laughs> nice anyways best of luck with your future career plans i hope it works out and uh who knows maybe i'm talking to a future president of the united states that's dope snipes everyone well, again thank you so much so. for coming on yes sir and uh, any last words for the people? Do you have your uh, slogan made yet, or no, for your presidential campaign? Um, uh, nope, I put you I'm on the spot. Act, act, actually, fix things. I don't know. All right, that's fair. <laughs> All right, I well, could pull a Biden and, and steal steal one of his clothes. <laughs> I love when politician. kids rub my hairy legs. Pull one of that. <laughs> Anyways, any final words before we click the final end record button? Anything. Um, adios. All right, perfect. Oh, there's please, your Spanish please knowledge. Trump win. Yeah, hopefully. Please, Trump win. Thank you for using your Spanish knowledge. Anyways, thank you all so much for listening to episode 16. It's been fun. Thank you, man. And peace out. Have a good night, everybody. I don't know what time it is they're listening yes. to this, but uh, let's hope for the best tomorrow. Yes, peace thank out, you everyone. For having me, Smitty. Goodbye. Yeah, Tell thanks, Nova. That was actually the longest episode ever, but it was fun. More content, the better. All right, peace out, everyone. Yes.